Bluetooth mode. A barafik. A barafik. What class are you? Precious is I see you. Precious, how you doing? So, I got to know today that we have some of our students going for mock exam, jam mock exam, this, this morning. I do tomorrow, tomorrow morning. So we are going to be dealing with jam pass question. At least we read them out. So in the next six minutes, we are going to hit it hard. In the next six minutes, we are going to hit it hard. Students going for mock uh, exam tomorrow, which is jam, jam mock exam tomorrow. So we are going to be dealing with jam pass question, jam pass question. Five minutes to go. Five minutes to go. If you are just joining, you can join where you are watching from. Let's give you a shout out before we start. Get a shout out before we start. Get a shout out before we started. Four minutes to go. Where are you watching from? Drop it, let's give you a shout out. Let's give you a shout out. Watching from. Let's give you a shout out before we start. Three minutes to go. Yeah. 
Tear the beauty. If you are here, drop where you are watching from. Let's give you a shout out. Claim out all the way from Lagos. I see you, me, my boy, from Nigeria. Which part of Nigeria? I got you. Your first show. Your shoe shop. You got dogs. Oh, all the way from Lagos City, you got dogs. You got dogs. Don't forget to give the rose a follow. Two minutes to go. Wherever you are, drop it in the got dogs. Network, I don't think I, my network is not stable. What is wrong with this network? So the first question here is to add, you have to add this. Okay, are we ready? Okay, are we ready? So can we start? Okay, this laptop is, uh, I hope you will be stable today. So, are we ready now? Shall we start? Shall we start this? I need a response. Start or wait. Wait or start. Start or wait. Wait or start. Start or wait. Wait or start. Yes, okay. Thank you for that. Ben Mora. Okay. This is question we have to add this. All of them are in base two. So since this, okay, I've seen you. Thanks, 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 guys. Since we've seen this, you can solve this in two ways. First thing, one thing that you need to know, by the time you sum them up together, you should not have anything greater than two in there. You should not have two. You should not have anything greater than two. So that is why you can solve this, this thing in two ways. But because it's jam, I'm going to give you the fastest way. You can convert this to base 10. I believe you know how to convert this to base 10. You sum it up, you convert it back to base 2. But there is a shortcut of which I'm having 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, which is this. 1, 1, 0, 1, which is this. Base 2, base 2, and 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, which is this. Base 2, base 2. And one, you know how to convert to base 10. Probably I will do that. Let's solve this one. I will solve that one too. And see if you are going to get the same answer. Now, how do you do? Since we must not have, we must not have anything, anything greater than 2. It's not needed here. Anything greater than 2 is not needed here. So now, how do you now do this? 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. It's greater than 2. We don't need that. You need to draw draw three because it is in base two. You do two, two and three. This is remainder. Two and three, one remainder one. Remainder one. It is this one you write here. I hope you are getting it now. You take this one and add it to this two three. So which means it is three. You are still having one remainder one. You take this and write. So you take this one and add it to this. Two, three, four. Which means here now we are having four. We are having four here. 
2 in 4, 2. Remember, that is 0. You take this is 0 and write it here. So you carry this 2, you add it to this, becomes 3. So this one becomes 3. So 2 in 3, 1, remember 1. You carry this one, you put it here. So this one here, you add it to this, making 2. Making 2. 2 in 2, 1. Remainder what? Remainder is 0. So you first write this remainder. There is nothing here again. You bring this one and write it. So the answer is 1010112. Is that clear? Repeat or continue? Repeat. Oh, Ayomi, I see you in the building. I see you. No, we. Are, I just started. I just started now. This is the first question. You are not late. I just started. Repeat or continue? Okay, continue. So I like the flow. So this is the first this is the first way. The second way is this. So it depends on the one you can handle faster. But this first one I did is faster. This first one I did is faster. Look at the second way. You convert this one to base 10. 1012. This one will take your time. This one will take your time. It means that 1 times 2, 1 times 2, raised to power 3, plus 1 times 2, 1 times 2, raised to power 2, plus neglect is 0. Anything times 0 is 0. Leave 0 alone. 1 times 2, 1 times 2, raised to power is 0. So this one will give you 8 plus 4 plus 1. Anything raised to power is 0 is 1. So this one is... Uh, 12 13. So you do this 1 0 to power 0 is 1. So this one is uh, 12 13. So you do this 1 0 alone. Anything raised to power is 0. Leave it 0 alone. I think my network is fluctuating. So leave it 0 alone and you because anything times raised to times 0 is 0. 1 times 2 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 2 plus 1 times 2, 1 times 2 raised to power 1, plus 1 times 2 raised to power is 0. So this one will give you uh, four, 2 times 2 times 2, 8 times 2, 16, plus, ah, uh, uh, yes, plus 4, this one become plus 2, plus 1, 20, 23, 23. So the last one, I have me 1, 1, 1. 0, 1, 2, base 2. So two, 1 times 2, 1 times 2, raised to power 2. 1 times 2, plus 1 times 2, raised to power 1. Then plus 1 times 2, raised to power is 0. So this one will give us 4 times 1. 4 plus 2 times 1, 2 plus 1. This is C7. So you add them together. 13 plus 23 plus 7. This one is 30, that is 43. 30, 13, 43. So you convert it back to base 2. You convert 43 back to base 2. So we are having remainder here. So 2 in 4, 2. 2 in 3, 1, remainder 1. 2 in 20, 10, remainder 1. 2 in 20, uh, 10, 5, remainder, remainder is 0. Then 2 in 5. 2 remainder 1, 2 in 2, 2 in 2, 1 remainder 0, 2 in, 2 in 1, 0 remainder 1. From bottom, this is not APCO, from bottom to the top. So we are having 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, means 2. Is it not the same thing? Which one is faster? First step or second step? Which one is faster? I see you. So the first step is faster. So that is why you, I hope everybody know that first uh, second uh, that first step. Ah, somebody is supporting first step uh, second step. 
this one is longer. The other one is faster. I will, I will advise you go with the first step because of time. This one will take you a lot of time. And you don't have time to waste in the exam. So shall we continue? Continue, continue, or wait. Wait or continue. Continue or wait. Wait or continue. So, we move on to the next question. 1, 2, 5. If 1, 2, 5 base x is plus 2x plus 5 minus 20 equals 0. Bring me this one here. The connectivity. So, we have x squared plus 2x minus 15 equals to 0. We are going to apply AC. Is it my network? A will. What should we do like this? At what point is my network is no longer good? From here, is, is it is it okay? Is it okay? From here, is it okay? Okay, now we need we are going to use AC AC method. AC method is that this is coefficient of here is a coefficient of x squared, b is a coefficient of s. This is constant, so that is why we call it AC method. In the sense that this is one multiplied by fifteen. We need two number. By the time we multiply by fifteen and multiply the two, which will get minus fifteen. And when you add it. When you add it, you have middle number plus two. So I believe you can use a minus five, oh, five minus three. Three times minus three, we give you minus 15. Five minus three, we give you two. So I can proceed with five. I can, yes, five and three. Thank you. I can proceed with five and minus three. Five and minus three. So we're having s squared plus 5x minus 3s minus 15 equals to 0. Written, you take them two by two. What is common? x is common here. Yeah? So we are left with s plus 5. You have taken away one s here. What is common? 3, because 3 divide 15 minus 3 into x plus, because when you use minus to multiply, positive, you get negative, 5, so equals to 0, you pick the one outside, s minus 3, then s plus 5, is equals to 3, so s minus 3 equals to 0, or s plus 5 equals to 0, so s equals 3, or s equals minus 5, so the correct answer is 3, because your answer cannot be negative when it comes to base. There is no base number that is negative here. So the answer is what? Is 3. So not minus 5. I hope you get the flow. Repeat or continue. Repeat or continue. Repeat the flow or continue. Repeat, repeat, continue, continue, repeat, continue, repeat, continue. Repeat or oh, continue. So move to the next question. So now the next question is evaluate, evaluate, evaluate three over eight divided by one over two minus one over three divided by 1 over 8 multiplied by 2 over 3 plus 1 over 3. So we have to evaluate this. Uh, okay. Don't worry. 
and give you one to solve. So now, let's evaluate this. Now from here, I can say 3 over 8. I will change this division sign to multiplication. By doing this, I will invert this or interchange this. 2 over 1 minus 1 over 3 divided by 2 here 1, 2 here 4. That is 1 over 4 multiplied by 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3, which is equals to 2 here 1, 2 here 4. 3 times 1, we have 3. 4 times 1, we have 4 minus 1 over 3 divided by 1 times 1, 1. 4, um, 4 times 3, that is 12, plus 1 over 3. So let's find the MCM. MCM of this is 12. We have it as 12. 4 in 12, 3. 3 times 9, uh, 3 times 3, 9. Minus 3 in, in 12, 4 times 1, 4. This will give us 5 over 12. Then the denominator. So the SM is the SM is is 12. So 12 in 12, 1. 12 in 12, 1 times 1, 1. Then 3 in 12, 4 times 1 plus 4. So that will give us uh, divided by 5 over 12. So this cancel this, I left you one. The answer is one. I hope you got the flow. I hope you got the flow. Do you get the flow? Repeat or continue? Repeat or continue? Repeat or continue? Repeat or continue? Okay, continue. Somebody says, repeat. Okay, let me quickly repeat. Let's quickly repeat it. This is 1 over 8. 1 over 8 times 2 over 3 plus 1 over 3. Look at this. This is a division. That is a division. Now, and whenever you are solving something like this, you change this division sign to multiplication. So this becomes 3 over 8. Then first of all, solve the numerator. 3 over 8 multiplied by, because I change this one to division, I will interchange this the next term. And that is 2 over 1. Then minus 1 over 3, which is equal to 2 here 1, 2 here 4. 3 times 1, 3. 4 times 1, 4. Minus 1 over 3. LCM is 4, is 12. 4 goes in 12, 3. 3 times 3, 9. Minus 3 goes in 12, 4 times 1, 4. This gives us a 5 over 12 for the numerator. So the denominator is that 2 here 1, 2 here 4. 2 times 1, uh, 1 times 1, 1. Over 4 times 3, 12. Minus 1 over 3, a bit plus 1 over 3. What is the S here? 12. 12 in 12, 1. Times 1, 1 plus 3 is 12, 4 times 1, 4, which is 5, 5 over 12. Which this is the denominator. You can see that the numerator and the denominator they are the same. So the answer is 1. So I believe you you got that now. You got it. You don't got it. You lay your hand on it again. I hope you have screenshotted the question. You got a flow. Okay. So the next question is that uh, express. Guys, you have to solve this. Drop your answer in the comment section. Express. Express. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. To 3 significant figure. Drop your answer in the comment section. Drop your answer in the comment section. Let's go. I need your answer in the comment section. Drop it, drop. Oh, oh, 
My Joanne va in the field. Eh, in the field. Joanne va in the field. Johnny va, in the field. Guys, drop your answer. How you doing? How you doing, my sister? My sister, my man. I got your flu. I see you in the beauty. I see you in the beauty. Who is dropping the answer in the comment section? Oh, hey, hey. That is my puzzle. Ah, ah, you are the boss. You are the boss, Joanne Vat in the beauty. Guys, please grab my boss in the building. Johnny Vat in the building. Johnny Vat in the building. Johnny Vat in the building. I see you, you saw Sophia in the building. Sophia, you doing today? I got it flow. Got it flow. So the correct answer is correct to three significant figures. Is one, two, three, zero, zero, zero. So you you know you can approximate two times. You can you can approximate five six to five or five to four. But you cannot say because it's now five now, you are approximating it. And you can't neglect the remaining one now. So it doesn't say combat instead of saying one uh one hundred twenty-three thousand four fifty-six. So they just want you to round it off, which is one twenty-three thousand. So you got those. You got those. Hey, you never got those. So shall we continue? Continue. Stay or move. Stay or move. Shall we continue? Shall we stay or continue? Continue. So we are moving to the next question. So the next question here is calculate the interest. You have to calculate the interest. Calculate the interest. Calculate the interest. You are giving the 7,500 uh, for eight years. Eight years. At five percent, ah, I know, ah, I know, ah, I know. So, who is dropping the answer in the comment section? Solve or wait? I see you, boss. How has been the Ozu? I know your face show, your face show here. How has been the Ozu? Solve or wait, guys? Should I solve or wait? You are never in the question. You are never. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my my life match. You, I don't want to lose. You got it. You got it, flow. If you don't got it, just register. Just register. You know the flow. Okay, continue. Okay, let's solve this. Now, you know your simple interest is equal to principal rate times time over 100. So it's simple interest in stream price seven thousand five hundred. Rate is eight uh, five is five multiplied by time eight years divided by hundred. It is this rate that form one over hundred, which is this. So we are having hundred year comes to hundred seventy five times five twenty five to thirty five thirty seven eight forty four. Uh, yeah, 56, 56, 66, 24. You got it, flow. I don't know. Let me use calculator. Let's try our calculator. So this is how you press it once. Okay. 75, 75 times 5 times 8. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's 3,000. Happy Friday, Smoothie Queen. Oh, how are you doing? Sorry, yeah, sorry. Just freshen up and chill. Freshen up and chill. You got, you got it, flow. Hey, you got, you got it, flow. Hey, 
You got your flow. I see you, my mentor. God bless you for checking on your boy. For checking on your boy. Guys, <laughs> I love you, my boy. You are my boss. I, I know now. You are my boss. You are my boss. So, shall we continue? I'm a chi. I'm a chi of. Ah, I didn't get of kerosene per liter. The cost of kerosene is per liter. Per liter. 60 naira to 85 naira. 25 naira. What, what is the percentage? What is the percentage rate? Percentage rate of increase. Percentage rate of increase. Shall we continue? I'll be me. Be right back. Thank you. Johnny Vi Kaplasi. Continue. Should we solve our weight? Solve our weight. <clears throat> Shall we solve this now? Shall we solve this now? Shall we solve this now? Shall I see you in the building. Okay. Now, let's see the increments. So the increments, the increments will be equal to uh, 85 minus 60 is 25 Naira. Is that it? So now, the percentage increase, the percentage increase will be equal to 25 over 60 multiplied by, multiplied by 100. Here, here, 2 here, 3, 2 here, 5, 75 over 3, 3 here, 2. 3 and 15, 25%. Is it 25%? No. 3 here, 2, made that 1, 15, 5. Yes, 25%. I think there is something. No, this is not 75. Oh. 5 times 5, 25, we made that 2, 10, 125 over. Over three. That is four four point twelve in five. One point so forty one point something shall seventy five twenty five times five divided by three. So forty one point seven. 41.7%. So we can say approximately to 42%. So let me check the answer and see if they approximate it or not. So let's see if they approximate it. So it is being approximated. 42 is the, is the answer. 42, they approximate it. Two. So we are moving to the next question. We are moving to the next question. <clears throat> simplify, simplify, simplify 16 minus 1 over 2, multiply by 4 raised to power minus 1 over 2, multiply by 27 raised to power 1 over 2. Should I solve or I wait? Solve or wait? Solve or wait? Solve or wait? Wait or solve? Solve or wait? Solve or wait? Or wait or solve? Wait. Wait, wait, wait in the building. Wait, wait, wait in the building.
Okay. Let's continue. If you're solving your own, let's have the solving our own here. So you remove this negative, you turn them to one over three. You remove the negative, you remove the negative by saying removing negative becomes one over. One over, so this becomes 16, one over two. I hope you get it flow. Then multiply by one over, this becomes four, one over two. You get the flow. Multiply by, this can also be said that uh, who root 127, 27. And I've been telling you that the denominator is the root. Why the numerator is the power. So all raised to power one, we still give you this. So the same thing will happen to this root. This become the root, this one become the power. That is one over this, multiplied by one over root four times, what are you going to multiply three times to get 27? Yes, these are jam. Multiply three times to get 27 is three. So one over square root of 16, four. Multiply by one over square root of four, two. Multiply by three. So the answer is three over eight. So this is the answer. Repeat or continue. Repeat or continue. Repeat or continue. User 93, I see you. Go to your profile and edit your name. Edit your name. User name. <clears throat> so repeat or continue. Continue. So the next question is, if if log if log s raised to power one over two sixty four is equals to three find five x. I hope you can see the question. Shall we solve this? Solve or wait. Solve or wait. Solve or wait. Shall we solve this? Shall we solve this? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Shall we solve, solve or wait? So, let's solve. So I'm going to rewrite the question because it seems this marker is not clear. The question is log S raised to power one over two sixty-four. Then uh, see that is log 64 base s raised to power 2 equals to 3. You know, understand the movement. This is going to push this one up while you bring this one down. So you have s raised to power 1 over 3 over 2 raised to power 3 raised to power 3 equals to 64. Then s raised to power 1 over 2 all raised to power 3 is equal to you can say 4 raised to power 3. 4 raised to power 3. Yes, of course. Sophia, you can direct message me. So you have this. X raised to power 1 over 2 raised to power 3. You can also take this to 4 raised to power 3. So 3 cancel 3. So you are left with X raised to power 1 over 2 equals to 4. So how do you cancel this? You can square both sides. Or you multiply the power. You multiply the power. Both power by one, uh, 2 over 1. You multiply this one too. 2 over 1. In order to take this one off, 2 cancel 2. X. This is 2 over 1, 2. 4 is to power 2. 16. Is that clear? Repeat or continue. Repeat or continue.
repeat or continue. Repeat. Now, look at the question. So look at the question. The question is log 64 base s raised to power 1 over 2 is equal to 3. Whenever you see something like this, you take the base to push the result at the equality sign, after equality sign. Then you bring this one down. So which means I'll be having s raised to power 1 over 2 or raised to power 3 is equal to 64. So s raised to power 1 over 2 all raised to power 3 is equal to 4 raised to power 3. 4 raised to power 3 will give you 64. Since we are having power of 3 here, power of 3 here, so power can cancel power. So you are left with s raised to power 1 over 2 is equal to 4, 4, is equal to 4. Then, you know, like I said, this can become, this can become square root of x equals to 4. That is the meaning of this. I told you that the denominator will become the root, Why this will become the power. I think we were having something like 3 here. I will say raised to power 3. Because this is 1. If I say raised to power 1, it will still give me the same thing. So that is why I will not bother myself in writing it. Now, how do you not get the value of s? Is to square both sides. Square both sides. So this square will take away square root. So we're having s equals to 16. I believe you get it now. I believe you get it now. Sophia, your question today plenty. Old. Yes, for now. I'm taking mass for now. So I believe you can continue now. Believe you can. Next nice question. Thank you. I love that. I love that. If mm -hmm. I've been waiting for this question for long, if Amaka is done, let's see if Red Maka. Can you see that? Okay, yes. One plus root two over one minus root two is expressed is expressed in the form in the form S plus Y root two. Find, find the value of, find the values of X and Y. Can you see the red, uh, the red marker? Yes, I think you can see it. So, this is the question. If this is expressed in the form s plus y root 2. Find the value of s and y. So all you need to do with this is to rationalize it. Once you rationalize it from there, you'll be able to compare to get the to get the value. God tick tocker, I see you. God bless you. So now this is what you do. We have one plus root two over one minus root two. So you rationalize by its conjugate. The conjugate of this is 1 plus root 2 over 1 plus root 2. So let's multiply. 1 times 1, 1. 1 times root 2 plus root 2. Root 2 times 1 plus root 2. Root 2 times root 2 plus root 4. Then divided by, this is a difference of 2 square. Difference of 2 square. So it becomes 1 square minus root 2 all square. Then we're having 1. This and this will give you plus 
2 root 2 plus root 4 is 2 divided by 1 square is 1 minus these two we cancel this we are left with minus 2 so at the end of the day we'll be having this plus this that is 3 that is 3 then plus 2 root 2 over 1 minus 2 minus 1 so this minus will affect all of them and the final answer will become minus 3 minus times minus and um, plus 3 minus 3 minus times plus we have minus 2 root 2 so now if you bring this one down and compare plus y root 2 now can you tell the value of x and the value of y drop it in the comment section the value of x and the value of y from here what can you see I want to believe you understood this, what I did here. If you don't, kindly ask me to repeat. But like, look at this. Can you compare what is the value of X and what is the value of Y? Repeat or continue. I'm waiting. 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 Repeat, I'm going to repeat that. Then, looking at this, can you tell the value of X and the value of Y? Comparing it to our final answer. Let's go, let, let's go. X is minus 3, Y is minus 2. That is it. That is the answer. So let's, let's solve it again. Let's solve it again. So this is the question. This is what we're having. The question says that if this 1 plus root 2 over 1 minus root 2 is expressed in the form of x plus y root 2, find the value of x and y. Now, all you need to do is to rationalize this. And you don't just rationalize. You rationalize by its conjugate. And what do you mean by conjugate? Conjugate is an opposite of anything. If I say root 2 in solved, the conjugate of this is the negative root 2. That is the opposite of this. But in the form when, when you now have an a plus root b, the conjugate of this is to say a minus root b. This is what we mean by conjugate. You rationalize by conjugate. So we are rationalizing this. We don't just say 1 minus root 2 again. We now take the opposite of this to do numerator multiply numerator and denominator which is this so which means the remaining one is simplification you take one term you use it to multiply this this is this here you take one multiply one multiply root two you take root two multiply one multiply root two to make it easier so which means one times one plus one times root two root two root, i'm done with one now root two times one plus root 2. Root 2 times root 2 plus root 4. That is the 2 times 2. Then divided by this, whenever you see something like this, this is showing you difference of 2 square. Difference of 2 square in the form that if you have a square minus b square, the final result will be a minus b and a plus b. Are you seeing now? What are you seeing here? Is it not the same form? A minus B, A plus B. A minus B, A plus B. What is the final result? A square, B square. Which means we just square this and square this. So 1 square minus root 2 all square. Then you, you can now solve this. We are in that. 1 plus root 2 plus root 2. That is 2 root 2. When you find the square root of 4, it is a 2 over 1 times 1, 1 minus square we cancel square root, you are left with 2. So this becomes this become 1 plus 2, that is a 3, plus root 2, plus 2 root 2, divided by 1 minus 2, minus 1. So this minus 1 will affect everything we are, have, we are having at the numerator. Minus 1 will affect everything we are having at the uh, numerator. So minus times 3, we have minus 3. Minus times plus 
we have minus 2 root 2. But the question says we should find S and Y when we express in this form. We have been able to exp express in this form. So we should bring S plus Y root 2. So root 2 is standing for root 2. Y is standing for minus 2. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> S is standing for minus 3. S is equal to minus 3. Y, Y is equal to minus 2. I believe you understand this now. I believe. Next question. Can I take this off? Continue now. We cannot repeat. Emmy, Emmy JR, I see you in the building. Emmy JR in the building. All my viewers, I see you in the building. If I have not known your name, I see you in the building. I see you in the building. So the next question we are having here is uh, if x, if x is an element of n squared plus 1, where n range from 0, 0,2, comma 3, and you also have a we also have one, y rather, it's an element of n plus one, and n in this case is uh, two comma three comma five. Find s intersection y. So you see, it's very straightforward. You need to compute your value. You need to compute your value. How do you compute the value of the element of x? The ele you need to compute your value. How do you compute the value of the element of x? The when, I see, when s is, this is our n. When s is 0, n is 0. When n, n is 2, and when n is 3. So when n is 0, becomes 0 squared plus 1 is 1. s is 1. When n is 2, we have n squared plus 1, which is equal to, this is equal to 1. Uh, 2 squared is 4 plus 1, that is 5. When n is, is 3, 3 squared plus 1, that is 9 plus 1, that is 10. These are the element of, element of, uh, element of x. So that, let's look for, so let's, x now is equal to 1, 5, 10. So now, let's calculate for, Let's calculate for y. So let's calculate for y. So y now is the expression we have is n plus 1. So this is y. And y range from 2, 3, and 5. So when n is 2, when n is 2, 2 plus 1. So the result y is 3. When is n is 3, 3 plus 1. So we have 4. When n is 5, 5 plus 1, we have 6. So now, the element of is 3, 4, 6. 3, 4, 6. 3, 4, 6. 3, 4, 6. Why? 3, 4, 6. So this is what we call S intersection Y. What do they have in common? Nothing. So it's, an, it's a non uh, empty set. We call it empty set. I hope you got the flow. I hope you got the flow. Repeat or continue. Repeat or continue. You want to solve quadratic question, you wait. We are dealing with jam question. We are, we are doing this jam question today because we have our guys who are, who are going for we are going for jump and mock exam. Jump mock exam. So, uh, uh, the person that asked me to repeat, all you need to do, this is, is very uh, clear. The element of x is that is n is in form of n. But when n is 0, this one becomes 1. When n is 2, this is 5. When n is 3, 9 plus 1, 10. You keep that. 1, 3, 10. I mean one five ten rather. 
Then here, when n is L, n is 2, y is 3. When n is 3, y is 4. When n is 5, y is 6. You could see that there is no meet-up point. Hi, I see you times. I see you. So, when n is that, you will see that there is no midpoint. There is no common value between the two. So, that is why we call it empty set or null set. They don't have any common. So, now, I'm going to read this one out. Just listen. I'm going to read it out. I will only write out the parameter. The question goes thus. A bookseller Okay, a bookseller, yes. A bookseller sells mathematics and English book. He sells mathematics and English book. A bookseller sells mathematics and English books. If 30 customers buy mathematics, 30 customers, mathematics, then, 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 10 co uh, 20 customer buy English. 20 customer buy English. 20 customer buys English. Then 10 customer buy the two books. 10 customer, that is uh, mathematics intersection uh, English. Buy what? Buy 10. So now the question is how many? Has he all together? How many customers has he all together? So if, if you add it up, it's 50. That so if you draw your bear diagram, so they are asking you to calculate the total customer this person has. So we have mathematics, we have uh, English, right? You have mathematics, you have English. So this center point is for those who buy the customer that bought mathematics and English together, and they are 10. 10. And don't forget that the number of uh, customers that bought mathematics, which is the whole circle, is uh, 30. And now you have cut 10 out of it. What remain? 20. So the whole circle for English, the whole customer that bought English book, they are 20. And you have cut 10 out of it. Remain 10. So what is the total? 20 plus 10 plus 10. So the total customer he has all together is... The total customer he has all together is 40. Total customer. Is 20 plus 10 plus 10, which is equal to 40 customers. Is that clear? Repeat or continue. So they said a bookseller. A bookseller, listen to it. A bookseller says uh, mathematics and English textbook. So now, on a particular day, some customer came, they bought, we have a customer that bought 30 mathematics textbook, another customer bought 20 textbook, and 10 customer came, they now bought mathematics and English textbook. So how many customer did the book seller has all together? So that is what they're asking. So if you should add 30 plus 20 plus 10, you miss it up. That is a that is the wrong answer. So you represent it as a, ten, as a set. Since we are having 10 who who already bought mathematics and uh, and uh, English. So what you need to do, you have a center value for them, which is the intersection. So if you have taken 10 out of 30, that is 20. And you have taken 10 out of 20, that is 10. So when you sum this up, you have 40 altogether. I believe we can continue now. Guys, please kindly So kindly register for my live event that is coming up on the 23rd. I will really appreciate your presence. I will really appreciate your presence. And then we have WhatsApp group to help ourselves out. The link is in, is in my bio. You join the WhatsApp group from there. 
Here we are, we are having L, L equals to 4M, 4M over, over 3 root PQ. Make, uh, make Q the subject of formula. So we are to make Q the subject of formula. So you will need to make this. I hope the marker is clear. Yes, I think it's clear. So we need to make you the subject of formula. First, we need to remove this. We need to remove this. How do we remove it? Is to multiply both sides. We are looking for Q. Is to multiply both sides by the inverted of this. So I can say multiply both sides by 3 over 4M. Multiply this by 3 over 4M. This time, always remove this. So I just want to make it easy for myself. So, which means 4 cancel, 4M cancel 4M, 3 cancel 3M. Here, we are having 3L over 4M, which is called to root PQ. Then you square both sides. Square both sides. So, 3, 3 times 3, that is 9L squared. 4 times 4, over 16M squared. Is equal to square with cancel square root, PQ. So you divide through by P, because we only need Q. Divide through by P, which means, it's like we are saying, multiply through by, multiply through by 1 over P. So here, multiply by 1 over P. You got the flow. P cancel P. So this time this, they are having 9 L square over 16 P M square is equals to Q. I hope you got the flow. I hope you got the flow. I hope you got the flow. I can see your handiwork in fact that Mika. I really love that. Well done, well done. So you got the flow. Shall continue. Continue, right? Where are the gifts in the building? I said Q, all right? I wrote it here now. Make Q the subject of formula, not P. Q, Q. I hope you got the flow. Where are my gifts in the building? Where are my people in the building? Your first show, your show is You got don't. Yes, you go, eh? Yes, you shall. You got do. I got do. You got do. Eh, eh, your face, you. Your shoe, shall. You got do. Shall we continue? Shall we continue? Let's go, let, let, eh, let, 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 let. Do the man. Okay. Let's, let's warm our brain a bit. It seems some people are sleeping in the building. It seems some people are sleeping in the building. So let's give you the flow. Let's give you the flow. One minute. One minute flow. Let's give you one minute flow. One minute flow. I see you in the building. God bless you for being here. You are here. I am here. You are not there. I'm not here. You got the flow. I got you 
doing the beauty. I love you all. Let's go. Let's go. I see. Let's go. I see. Let's let's let 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 let. Okay. That is enough for now. Let's continue. The next question on the line. So the next question we have in here. If if uh, if two s squared minus three s minus twelve is divisible is divisible is divisible by s minus four find the value of k let's go shall we continue now we have to find the value of k solve or wait Serve away. Serve away. I see you in the building. Serve away. We just started not too long. If I am Victor, I see you in the building. You welcome me. Shall I solve this or wait? Shall I solve this? Okay. Whenever you see something like this, and you have been told that, Certain expression, what you call a polynomial, is being is have a factor that divides it. It means that there is no remainder. If there is no remainder, it means it's equals to zero. It means that what I'm saying is that two s squared minus k s minus two uh, uh, twelve is divisible by s minus k s minus two uh, uh, twelve. Is divisible by s. It means that if this divide this, it leaves no value. That there's nothing left. If this is a factor of this, so nothing will be remain. It's like we are saying uh, four divided by two. Nothing will be remain. You, it will just divide it. So now, if that is the case, you need to equate this to zero. So s equals to four. Then you put it back here. So from here, wherever you see s, you put four. So you have 2 into 4 squared. That is 2 into 4 raised to the power 2. Minus k into 4. Minus 12 equals 0. You have 2 into 16. 4 times 4 is 16. Minus 4k. That is 4 times k. Minus 12 equals 0. So 2 times 16, 32. Minus 4k. Minus 12 equals 0. So 12. 32 minus 12, that is uh, 20. 20 minus 4k equals 0. When you collect terms, we have minus 4k is equal to minus 20. So you divide through by minus 4k, or minus 4 rather, minus 4. So therefore, k is equal to 20 divided by 4, 5. Are you getting the flow? Repeat or continue. Repeat or continue. If you are going for, if you are going for uh, mock tomorrow, jam, uh, mock exam tomorrow for jam, kindly signify in the comment section. If you are going for mock exam tomorrow, or this morning rather, it is after twelve. I only simplify. Somebody said repeat. I'm going to repeat this for the last time. The question is that this factor, S minus 4, divides this. If this divides this, it means that there's no remainder. So that is why we equated this one to zero. So for that, how do you now know the value of X? The value of x, the value of s minus 4 equals 0, s equals to 4. So you put, wherever you see x here, you put 4. So you have 2, you have 2 into 4 raised to power 2. 
here. S is having power 2 here. Minus k into 4. Minus 12 equals 0. Now I have 2 into 4 times 4, 16. Minus k times 4, 4k. Minus 12 equals to 0. 2 times 16, 32. Minus 4k minus 12 equals to 0. 12 minus 32, that is 20. Minus 4k equals 0. Minus 4k equals to minus 20. When you take this to the other side. So you divide through by minus 4k. So therefore k is equal to 4 in 25. So I hope you got the flow now. I hope you get the flow. Flow, flow, flow. I hope you get the flow. But I'm moving to the next question. Moving to the next question here. We are having factorized completely. Factorized completely. Factorized completely. We have 4x plus 3y all squared minus, minus 3x minus 2y all squared. We have to factorize this completely. Factorize this completely. So, shall I solve it? Continue, right? Shall I solve? Solve or wait? Solve or wait? Solve or wait? Gift or a beauty? I will pray, I will appreciate your gift. Gift or a beauty? I will appreciate your gift. God bless you. Now let's solve. Yes, we are going to apply difference of two square. If you apply difference of two square, it means that this is A plus B. And this is uh no let me let me show you something let me show you something this is a square minus b square so they are saying that everything here is a everything here is a everything here is b so what is the result of this it means that a plus b a minus B. This is what they ask us to do. Factorize completely. So all you need to do now is to bring everything here, replace A. Everything here, replace B. Everything here, replace A. Everything here, replace B. So let's go. Here now, we'll be having A is what? 4X plus 3Y. 4X plus 3Y. B is what? B is 3S minus 3Y plus 3s minus 2y. Then, the same thing here, a is 3s plus uh, 4x rather, plus 3y. Then, sorry, 4x plus 3y minus this negative here. And don't forget, this negative will affect the two value of y and b. That is why I have to put it into bracket. Did he, you see from here, I didn't put it into bracket because this negative does not have effect here. But in this case, this negative will have effect on the value of B, which is 3S minus 2Y. 3S minus 2Y. So we can now simplify. So we are having 4S, 3S, that is 7X. What else? 3y minus 2y, that is plus y. Here, we are having 4x, let's open bracket, 4x plus 3y, minus times 3 minus 3s, minus times minus plus 2y. So we have 7x plus y. This and this, we have x, that is 4x minus 3s. Then this and this, we have plus 5y. 
Is that clear? Is that clear? Is that clear? Should I repeat or continue? Repeat or continue? Repeat the flow or continue? As repeat or continue? Repeat, right? I saw one repeat. Continue. Repeat, continue. Okay. I've seen two repeats. Let's go. I want to believe, I want to believe you understand this. You understand difference of two square. Whenever you see difference of two square, whenever you see difference of two square, this is the result. A plus B, B minus B, A minus B. So now, look at this question here. It's looking, it's two difference of two square, but in a bigger form. So which means everything here should be replaced as A, and everything here should be replaced as B. Let's not put it here. So what I'm saying here now is, A is 4S plus 3Y. 4S plus 3Y. Plus B is 3S minus 2Y. 3S minus 2Y. Close the bracket. Then you open bracket A, 4S plus 3Y. 4S plus 3Y. Minus this negative here. We affect all the terms here. So you have to put it into the bracket. So that you will not make mistake. But in the example, you don't need to put it into the bracket. Just multiply straight. Negative times 3s. You write 3s. My minus 3s. Negative times minus. You, when you are solving in, uh, in jam, try your best to reduce an uh, unnecessary wasting of time. Are you getting me now? It's because I'm solving in here. That is why I'm putting bracket. But if you are solving this in jam, don't put bracket. You multiply right from here. Yeah. You just a negative times 3s minus 3s minus times minus 2s plus 2s, you continue. So, but in case of that I'm solving here, I'm going to put the bracket to see that the negative will affect the value. 3s minus 2y. So, here we have 3s, 4s, 3y. That is 7x. This is 3y. This is 3y rather. 3y. Then here we have 3y minus 2x. That is just single y. So we have 4x plus 3y minus sine 3 minus 3x minus times minus plus 2y. So if I'm doing this in jump, I will not I will not I will not write this step. I will not write this step. I will jump here. So then you cannot say 7s plus y into y x 4s 3x 4 minus 3s that is just single s 3y plus 2y that is 5y so I believe you got it now you got the flow I, got, I believe I believe you got the flow let's go I believe you got the flow Gifter in the building. Where I thou? Support your mule. Support your boy. Support your boy. If you have anybody in the building that can support me, I wouldn't mind. You know, we get my car, we get some things to get this to get this prepared. You got the flow. You got the flow. So you can support us with gifts or you support us with cash. God bless you. You got the flow. The next question. So the next question is this. If if s minus three 
is directly proportional. If error is directly proportional to the square to the square of to the square of y and s equals to 5 when y equals to 2 5 x when y equals to 6 So I hope you got a question. 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 Shall we solve this now? Shall we solve this? I see you in the building. Now let's go. Here is the question. If S minus 3 is directly proportional to the square of y to the square of y. S is this. Now, in variation, whenever you see it, you want to solve this. The first statement given is to find the value of is to find the value of k, constant of proportionality. Then the next one is to move. So now let's go. This is what we go. This is what we do. This is what we do. So we now have a uh, S minus 3 is directly proportional to the, the square of y. This is the square of y. So we are having 3 minus uh, S. S minus 3 is equal to ky squared. Then k is equal to S minus 3 over y squared. So the first statement says that when y s is 5, y is 2. So we have 5 minus 3 over 2 squared, which is equal to 2 over 4, so which is 1 over 2. I hope you get the flow. So the question, I just make k the subject of formula here. Divide through by y squared. This is s minus 3 over y squared. So the first statement gave us s is 5 minus 3, which is 2, and y is 2, which is 2 squared is 4, so 1 over 2. We have gotten k. The question now says that Find x when y is 6. So you are, you are back here. You are back to this place. So from here, we are looking for s minus 3 equals to k is 1 over 2. 1 over 2 multiplied by y is 6. So c squared. So we have s minus 3 will now be 1 over 2 multiplied by 36. So s minus 3 will now be equal to 2 here 1. 2 here 1. Uh, is 16, 8. So you have 8. So S will now be equal to 18 plus 3, which is equal to 21. You got a flow. You got a flow. I see you in the period. Repeat or continue. Let's go, let's go. I got you the beauty. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, repeat. <laughs> You don't <laughs> okay let's let's do this again. Let's interpret the question again. So look at this. The question is if s minus three s minus three directly proportional directly proportional to the square of y square of y pressure we are having. So to turn this to an equation, you need to I'm from Nigeria. So you need to introduce 
the constant of proportionality to remove this direct proportion. So, which, which means S minus 3 is equal to K Y square. Divide through by Y square. This comes with this. So, K is equal to S minus 3 over Y square. Now, the first statement says that when x is 5, y is 2. We put them here. I told you that the first statement is to calculate k, constant of proportionality. So, s is 5 from the question. 5 minus 3 over, and y is 2 from the question, which is 2 squared. At the end of the day, you have 5 minus 3, 2. 2 times 2, 2 raised to power 2, 4. 2 here 1, 2 here 2, which is 1 over 2. K is 1 over 2. Now, the question now says find x when y is 6. So you come back to the equation again here that says that uh, we already know k as, a, as 1 over 2. So this is the equation. S minus 3 equals to k y squared. Now, y is 6. K is 1 over 2. So just put them here. So we have S minus 3 is equal to K is 1 over 2 multiplied by Y is C squared. So X minus 3 equals to 1 over 2 multiplied by 36. 6 times 6 is 6. 2 here 1, 2 here 18. So you have S minus 3 equals to 18. You collect times 18 plus 3. So therefore, S is equal to 21. I hope the flow is clear now. I hope the flow is clear now. I hope the flow is clear now. So now, we are moving to the next question. We are moving to the next question. So, guys, try this. This is also a variation question. This is also a variation question. That if P varies, if P varies, if P varies, varies inversely, inversely as, inversely as, uh, as the square, as the square of Y, and X is equal to Sorry. If you very very well, a square of Q, a square of Q, and P is equal to X. When, when Q is equal to four, find Q, find Q. When P is equal to 32. So shall we solve this? I studied mechanical engineering at the University of Lagos. Mechanical engineering. So shall we solve this? Today we don't have gift in the building. Who is zapping us out? Oh, zapping us out. Since zapping us out, let's go. Oh, zapping us out. I see you in build. Oh, zapping us out. So let's interpret P varies inverse as square of Q. Therefore, P equals to K over Q square. K is equals to P Q square which is equal to, when P is 8, Q is 4. 
When P is 8, 8 times 4 squared, that is 8 times 16. So that will give us 42, 48, 8, 12, 128. So K is 128. Amen. Real me. I see you. Let's find out. 8 times 4 square. 128. So we've got K as 128. K as 128. Now we are to now find. We are to find Q. We are to find Q. So let's make Q the subject of formula. We are to find Q when P is 32. Let's make Q the subject of formula. We cross multiply. We have PQ square is equals to K. Q square is equals to K over P. Q is equal to square root of K over P, which is equal to when Q, K is 128, and P is 32. So let's see. 128 divided by 32, that is 4. So, we have Q is equal to the square root of 4, which is 2. I hope you got the flow. <coughs> Did you get the flow? Repeat or continue? Repeat or continue? We have less than 17 minutes to be spent here. Or if you have the time, we can still spend one hour. So, is that clear? Okay. So the next question here. Is to find the range. Ah. Repeat. See. Look at this. I hope you understand this. P varies inversely as square of PQ. P varies inversely, inversely, not directly again, inversely as square of Q. Now, by removing direct, uh, propo uh, direct proportional or uh, the symbol of proportionality, you need to introduce K. This is our K. We make K the subject of formula. We make K the subject of formula. It means that our K here, we have K to be P PQ squared. So the first statement says that when P is 8, Q is 4. It's for us to calculate uh, Q, uh, K. So you say 8 times 4 squared. That gives 128. Then the next question says that find Q when P is 32. So from here, we make Q the subject of formula, which is K over P. We've gotten K to be 128. From the question, we are giving P to be 32. 128 divided by 32 is 4. Square root of 4 is equal to 2. I hope you now got the flow. I want to believe you get the flow. I want to believe you get the flow. So now, let's move to the next question. So the next question is, so, oh no, find the range of value of x. Find the range of value of x. Of value of x. Which, which satisfy, which satisfy the inequality, the inequalities, inequalities, for x minus 7 less than equals to Don't mind my my phone as 
and started malfunctioning. Okay, here is the flow. Yeah, so it's my network. I don't know. My phone is just malfunctioning. It's not network. It's my phone. It's just pressing home screen, let center, go back everywhere. That will help me to get new one. It's just running up and down. Software problem. So shall we continue now? Shall we continue? Shall we continue? Okay, here is the question. You have to solve this. When you now solve it, the answer for this and its answer for this, you will now match them together. That is for now, I'm working in an estate manager, uh, management firm. I'm managing with a company as the fa facility uh, personnel. You got it. You know, uh, in our country, we have to just find something to do. I can't be lazy. You got the flow. I can't be lazy. <clears throat> so if we are solving this, and it's also solving this, and then we'll put the result together. So let's do that now. So to solve this, let's arrange. We bring three to this side and take seven to this other side. So we have four X. When this comes here, it becomes minus three S, less than equals to. When seven comes here, it becomes seven. So this minus four S minus three S, it all just says less than equals to seven. So this is the first part of the solution. So let's do the second part of the solution. Here, we can divide through by 4, divide through by 4. So we have minus 1, less than or equal to 4, oh, less than or equal to S. You see now. Now, I want to put them together. I've gotten the two results, and they must face the same direction. Minus 1 is less than X. And on this other side, S is less than 7. How do we put them together? So we are saying minus 1 is less than or equals to S. But S itself is less than or equals to 7. Less than or equals to 7. So this is the range that they are asking you to find. I hope it's clear. Repeat or continue. Repeat or continue. Repeat or continue. Repeat, continue. Rona ball. I see you in the building. Repeat. Okay. Let's repeat again. Okay. I have a lot of repeat. So listen, listen again. The question says that find the range. Find the range. Of value of x which satisfy the inequalities. So find the range of this which satisfy the inequalities. So all we need to do now, you solve this, find the value of x, you solve this, find the value of x, you now match them together. So let's go again. So I'm going to collect terms here for x, this is serious, I'll bring it here, minus 3s. Then less than equals, so this is 7, I'll take it to this side, plus 7. So 4s minus 3s, that is just x less than equal to 7. This is the first result. Now, this is the second uh, inequality here. We're having this minus, uh, minus 4 less than equals to 4s. So I will divide root by, by, uh, by 4. So, so that for me to get x. So minus 4 divided by 4, that is minus 1. Less than equals to s. Now, you are done now. You have been able to find the solution for, to this and the solution to this. Now, what remains now is to match the two. Now, the first thing I'm writing now is minus x because a number will start and a number will end it. Are you getting me now? 
So I'm starting with the least number. So the least number is less than x. So the least number minus 1 is less than or equal to s. But the, the highest number is greater than s. So which means s is less than that, that number. So it become s less than or equal to 7. So this is how you match the two. So that is how we match the two. I hope you got the flow. I hope you got the flow. So the next question. My phone, phone, oh, Spring Kashi, I see you in the building. No, my phone is my function. It just, if you see that I'm blank, just wait a bit. I will be back. My phone is my function. It has been giving me issue like a week now. You no know, got money to buy another one. If you see, if you see it well blank, just, just uh, so let's go. No man. So Let's solve this. Solve this. We are going to do this multiplied by this. That is 1 multiplied by 6. That is 6. Two numbers to be multiplied and get plus 6. And two numbers to be added and get minus 5. So if we say, if we say minus 6 times 1, minus 6. Minus 6 plus 1, minus 5. So I'm going to use minus 6 and 1. I'm going to use minus 6 and 1 to solve this. So it becomes x squared minus 6x plus x. By the time you add this together, it will give you minus 5x plus 6 greater than or equal to 0. So you group them 2 by 2. What is common here? S is common. S is so. You have taken 1s from here. You are left with 1s. Minus you have taken 1s from here. We are left with this. Plus what is common? One. So we are left with as uh, something is wrong. Something is not right. Something is not right. Something is not right. Something is not right. Minus six. It does not work. The first statement does not work. The, the first statement is not, it does not work. We need two values. Let me check the question. It's plus six. Okay. Let's, this is like this. Let's quickly find S by using formula. Minus B plus or minus square root of uh, B square minus 4AC over 2A. So, we have our A to be equal to 1, B equals to minus 5, C equals to 6. So, we can have minus times minus, that is 5, plus or minus square root of 5 square minus 4 times A is 1, times C is 6. So, over 2A. A is 1. So, we have 5 plus or minus square root of 25. This time this is minus 24 over 2. So which is 5 plus or minus square root of 1 over 2. 
So we can now say this is equal to 5 plus or minus uh, 1. Square root of 1 is 1 over 2. So we can now have, can you see this way? Yes. So we can now have uh, uh, 5 plus 1 over 2 or 5 minus 1 over 2. 6 over 2 is equal to 3 or 4 over 2 is equal to, okay. I will suppose apply, I suppose I've applied minus 3 and minus 2 here. Minus, my, minus 2 minus 3. Minus 2 minus 3 will have worked. So we have, uh, so we have not finished, we've gotten it. S is 3 or Y. S is 3 or Y. We will have, this, this one will work. S squared minus 3S minus 2S plus 6 less than or greater than or equal to 0. So let's group them. I've solved it. It's 3 and 2. So what is common here is X. S minus 3. Minus what is common here is 2. Into, uh, you have taken 2. 2 in this. That is 3. Greater than or equal to 0. So you take the one outside. We have S minus 2. S minus 3. Greater than or equal to 0. So what do you now have? You can now say S minus 2 greater than or equal to 0 or S minus 3 greater than or equal to 0. So therefore, S greater than or equal to 0 or equals to 3, 2 or S greater than or equal to 3. So this is the final answer. I hope you get a flow. <coughs> I hope you get a flow. I hope you got it. So the next question. The next question. So this is the last question for today. We we'll continue tomorrow morning or afternoon. The fifth term of the fifth term of AP. The fifth term of AP is is twenty four, and the eleven and eleven term is 96. Find the first term. We have to find the first term. So we have the fifth term of an AP is 24. The eleventh term is 96. Find the first term. So this is how you do this. You know we have a, the the nth term of an AP is equal to a plus n minus one d. This is the nth term of an arithmetic progression. This is the nth term of an arithmetic progression. So if this is the nth term of an arithmetic progression, I we have to look for the fifth term. So the value at fifth term is giving us 24. So it means that the fifth term is equal to first term plus, uh, that is a fifth term, five minus one, D. So the fifth term is giving us 24. 24, which is equal to A plus five minus one, four times D, four D. So equation one. Then, the eleventh term, the eleventh term will be a plus ten d. Look at this. When it is five, one minus five, four d. So when it is eleven, one minus one uh, minus eleven, ten. So we are giving the eleventh term to be ninety six. So which is ninety six equals to a plus ten d. So when you solve this and this simultaneously. You cannot have 
this cancel this is uh, the same sign. You subtract this many. 4d minus 10d, you have minus 6d. Then 24 minus uh, 96, you have minus uh, 27. 27. That is uh, 2, this plus this, 6, 9. So therefore, d will be minus 72 divided by minus 6. That should be, uh, okay, 6 in 7, 1. 6 is 12, 12. So common difference, common difference is 12. So if common difference is 12, I can use any of the equation 1 and equation 2 to have my first term. We have to find the first term. So let me use equation 1 to, to find the value. Now that I've gotten the value for, now that I've gotten the value for D, common difference, which is 12, so I'm applying this equation here to find my first term. So we are saying 24 equals to A, which is unknown. D is 12. So 24 equals to A plus 4 times uh, 12, 48. So 24 minus 48 is equals to A. We have minus 4 to 24 is equals to A. So the first term of this sequence is minus we, I got this from, from solving equation 1. Let me write the equation out. The first equation is this. Let me write it out. The first equation for fifth is 24 is equals to A plus 4D. And the equation for 11th term is 96 equals to A plus 10D. So I got these two equations from the formula, the nth term formula. And the nth term says that un equals to a plus into n minus 1d. So this is where I hope you got the flow. So now I cancel out this because they are equal, equal uh, number. a minus a. So which means I will minus the remaining one. So 4d minus 10, that is minus 6d. 24 minus 6, uh, 96, that is minus 72. So when you divide by minus 7, uh, 6, minus 6, minus cancel minus 6, cancel 6, 6 in uh, 72 is 12, equals to D. Since we have no D, I can use any of this equation. Here it says that uh, 24 is equal to A plus 4D. 24 is equal to A plus 4D. So you insert the value for D now to find the question say find the first term. So 24 is equal to A plus 4. We have gotten D as 12. So 24 is equal to A plus 4 times 12, 48. 24 minus 48 is equal to A. Minus 24 is equal to A. So that is our answer. That is our answer. She will solve more questions. We call it a day. I see. She will solve more questions. She will solve more questions. Aha! Let's see, let's see more. We need to cheese more. I got you in the beauty. I see you in the beauty. Fast life, but I see it in slow. Oh no, and you see my lifestyle, I got G's in the top. See many people there outside where they feed man's oh, 
on low. I mean, I stand the defender like Joseph Yobo. But girl say she want Netflix and chill. So I chat to get yeah, give her one. Yeah. If you fall in love, girl is satin. Yeah. You go to your breakfast, I'm not happy. Yeah. Can you see drip pull, I'm not catchy. Yeah. I'm not faking this, no fugazi. Yeah. You see these feelings, I'm not catchy. Yeah. I'm on quest and feet, I just want it. Ah, business. If I broke, I'm a business. I'm a shy, you go like I'm a business. I'm a shiny girl, right? All I care for the night. I'm a shiny SSC. If you do this, you want your double, you jealous me. If you want to take up serious, I do touch speed. No fit to resonate. I'm on a different frequency. Uh-huh. I don't think it's necessary. I'll be done with just somebody that could do like me. When I be like Osana coming off the right wing, I call to your defender. You don't need to tell me. I'm a host. Finesse. You know, send me a must not. If we are get money past you, if you're looking for finesse, you send me a must I can let you carry go. If we are get money past you, if you're not careful, for business, if I broke my business, I'm a child, you could like all I care for the night. If I broke my business, all I care for the night. All I care for the night. I'm a I broke my business. I'm a child, you go right. All I care for the night. So, let's see some few questions and go and call it a day. We call it a day. We have an operation here. 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 A binary operation. A binary operation. A binary operation. Star. Define. Defined on the set. On the set of positive integers. Positive integer and positive integers is such that is so that is just that 
star y is equal to two star is two two s minus three y plus two for for positive or positive integers. S and what? S and what? The operation Okay, you know what? The operation is I have a I know so. This one there is, is this one is is this one we have series of options. This one is not a calculation. It's greasy, I see you. This is not a calculation, we have series of options that we are we have to choose from. So we have series of options we have to choose from. So we have it this way. A binary Excluding, excluding minus one is such that for all n, for all n, n are element of real number such that n triangle n. Find the identity and find the identity and find the identity and find the identity and So after this one, we call it a day. After this one, okay, I'm going to I'm going to call it out. After this one, we call it a day. After this question, after this one, we call it a day. So let's go. So the question says that uh, a binary operation on the set of three number excluding minus one on the set of three number excluding minus one. So excluding minus one is such that for all f and n. They are elements of a real number. 
M triangle N. This is the operation. <coughs> the operation performs that M performs and gives M plus N plus M N. Find the identity element of the operation. How do we solve for identity elements? So you solve for identity element in this form. You solve for identity element in this form. You know, if you say A identity, when you operate a, a variable on an identity, or you interchange it, the final result is A. Are you getting me? Whenever you operate an identity on a, on a variable, be it you write the variable first, or you write the identity first. So the result is going to give you that value. So that is what so if that is the case, now if you are not operating, we have an we have an uh, equation. M is operated on n, which is m plus n plus m n. So how do we now find our identity elements? So if we now operate m on the identity element, on the identity element, it means that our final result should give us m from here. If you operate any 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 variable on an identity, you get that variable. If you operate any variable on, on an identity, you get that variable. So which means if I'm operating m on the identity element, I'm going to get m. But I will need to expand in this form because when m operated on n, we have m n n m n m plus n plus m n. So which means the same way, if m should operate on identity element, it's going to produce this form. But instead of n, we are going to replace it with uh, e, the identity element. So it becomes m plus e plus m e is equal to what? This this identity is going to be equal to is going to be equal to m. I hope you believe me. Look at this. When when the identity, when the variable are operated on the identity, the final result is the variable. Which means when this m, this variable operates on this, the final result should give us m. Are you getting me now? So I'm I'm replacing that, I'm just showing you. So the final result here, this one now will give us m. So whenever see a operated on the identity, it gives a, it gives a. So we have m equals to m plus e plus m plus e equals to zero. We need to collect terms. We need to make e the subject of formula. We have m minus m equals to e. Some okay. Let me write it first. E plus m e. E plus m e. So this one becomes. I didn't even know that uh, I was just busy solving. I didn't know that my screen has gone off. <laughs> I didn't know that my screen has gone off. I was just solving. So the, the answer is zero. From the question, they said excluding minus one. So minus one cannot be part of the answer. So our identity is zero. So I just face board like this. I didn't know that my phone has minimized itself. Now, wow, this fool. Okay, guys, let's call it a day. I'm thinking of maybe tomorrow afternoon. I'm thinking of probably we should do construction or or set. No, I say set, and um, not set, statistics. I'm thinking maybe we should do statistics or construction. Thank you, MB. So I'm thinking probably we should do statistics tomorrow, probably between 11 or thereabouts. Or we should do construction. So these two questions, they are question that uh, Wayek repeats every year. 
So it's a question that wife repeats every year. So guys, thank you for your time. I think I need to go and sleep now. Oh, of them. Thank you guys. I really appreciate your time. I don't know. I'm looking at between 11, between 11 and 12. I'll come on live between 11 and 12. Thank you. If I da Micah. My kind of beauty. God bless you. I appreciate you people here. Good night. I have WhatsApp. Go to my profile. You see a WhatsApp link there. You can join the group from there. We have a WhatsApp group. So the link is in my bio. Joy Kenny, Joy Kenny, I see you. I see you in beauty. So let's meet tomorrow by God's grace. Like his hand. Let's meet tomorrow. Let's meet tomorrow. So we meet tomorrow, guys. We meet tomorrow. Yes, we suggest that on WhatsApp. Yes. Uh, MB1, are you on the group? Just comment on the group, MB1. Write MB1 on the group so that I can I, um, note, note you on the group. So good night, everybody. <coughs> good night, good night. I see you. Bye bye. Good night, everybody. Ah, uh, two K son of nature, you are in the building. I see you. Ah, uh, 
Sadiq. Sadiq, I just gave you a follow. I just gave, I hope you follow back. Cocolate, chocolate, I see you in the building. I just gave you a follow to you. I hope you follow back. Cocolate is brown. I got you. You follow already. God bless you. MB1. I just follow you. You follow already. God bless you. Smakashila. I just gave you a follow. I hope you follow back. I hope you follow back. Who do we have in the middle? Money back. Money back. I just gave you a follow. I hope you you follow back. So I followed you all. I hope you follow back. Have a nice time. Have a nice time. Good night. Oh, run up door. Good night. Bye 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 everybody. Good night. Good night. Night night. Night night.